Good morning. Okay, so this is the message my Aquarius and Leo. I know I'm telling a story. I'm going in order. We started in the um, direction of Taurus, Cancer, Aquarius, Leo, and I am working on Aries next. But I'm watching the, as, as I'm, you know, as the story is unfolding, I'm working on Aquarius, which I, is totally like a, a Leo energy. My Aquarians are coming in as my Leos. My Leos were coming in as Aquarius and then Emperor-like energy, but that's why I'm working on Aries next. But it was more frustrating, okay, that this, not me frustrating, frustrated, it's the the Aquarian Leo energy that's frustrated because there's lack of communication. But this energy, if, if you are, if you're cross-watching, it just depends, right? But if you are a Leo or an Aries, is you're putting too much expectation on yourself, on their circumstances. Okay, so it's 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 you being rigid, needing to drop your guard, and it, it's like you're frustrated that someone's not communicating with you. But clearly, through the messages I'm getting, through the reads and through you know, spirit, universal energy, it is on you to make these moves, right? So it's not that I see that you're horribly frustrated or pissed off at this energy. It's you're putting too much expectation on yourself. Am I, am I good enough? Does this make sense? You know, will they communicate back? It's like clearly you're in love and... Maybe you're just having a hard time expressing it or you don't know an outcome of a situation or how someone's going to react. But, you know, I I am seeing this one particular energy. Their back is turned. I don't think anyone's ignoring it. It, it doesn't look like anyone's sending messages. It, it doesn't look like anyone's blocked. It, it's more communication is needed. It, but it's without expectations. Like you can't reach out to somebody and expect it to go your way or expect it to go this way or, you know, you just got to have faith. It, it doesn't look like this person would not not communicate back. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's more there There might be a little fear in ta attached, but it's you put in expectations on love. Like there's like I literally had to stop what I was doing before Aries to let let you my troops know. Like you don't put expectations on love. When you love someone, you love someone. You know? Um it's it's your energy that needs to be that warrior to go after what you want. Where 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 do your morals lie? You know, it, it looks like, yeah, possibly you could have just got out of a scenario that was, what, harsh, you know. But you're not really focused on it. You're, you're more focused on the new energy, the new path, the new direction, the excitement, the possibilities, the things you're seeing, the creativity behind it, the inspiration, the desire, the passion. So it's not that you're even focused on the past right now. It's, it's you're putting such expectations on an outcome or a response and it's not necessary not not when you're in love love is love okay so i i just wanted to give you that quick message um and it also looks like the reason some of the reasons why this person is possibly turning their back or not communicating is either their own fear or it's just their way of coping with the situation but if if communication was cut off or something was ended or or you know what I'm saying like why would you expect an energy can to continuously reach out that would be lack of their own self-respect and if you ask me you know, if you have such high standards and high expectations, then you got some pretty kick-ass bomb morals yourself. So think about that. Think about why maybe someone's not reaching out to you. 
So this is an additional message for Aquarius Leo, which is like all zodiacs, but today I did the Aquarius Leo, all right? And I haven't gotten to the Aquarius yet. I felt the need to interfere and, and put my two cents on it because as the reader, as I'm telling this story, I don't want it to keep interfering within the story because clearly in the Aquarius reading, there was so much love and potential and you see the future, you know? So the only thing that's stopping it right now seems to be communication. And we got lust and then we have movement, okay? So lust sometimes, to me, what you're doing is is resisting too. There's an enormous amount of attraction, okay? Um, it's like you're questioning your own actions. So be careful. Be, it's not, okay, let me just read it. There's a fine balance between desire and what is pure and when obsession arises. It's, it's like the thrill of danger. So it's like you want to go after it, but you're holding yourself back. Okay, so be careful with desires that the remain good is, is actually what you want and you're not causing hurt to another. The best way to move right now is to cautiously move forward. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're asking about a relationship, you know, especially if it's a past relationship, you, you're you going to recover. Okay, so if you want it so badly, why are you not going after it? Others, I think you're afraid, okay, that there's a hidden agenda. I have not come across any hidden agenda as of yet, okay? So it's like you're testing your own actions. There's, it's like there's so much attraction. I don't know if you, you're just, you're resisting if you feel like it's illusionary energy, if you're worried Okay, if it's going to be reciprocated, you know, I, I'm not seeing obsession. I'm not seeing anything like that. And we got movement. If you've been waiting for something, you will soon have your clarity. You will get your answers that you thought would never come. As you move closer, then things will no longer be out of reach. Perhaps this card predicts a trip that you always wanted to take or a symbol of movement can be indicated to both change of scenery and a real shift in the direction in your life. No matter what symbol is held for this question, know that wonderful changes are now possible. This is a time for you to make your move. All right. And it does look like Aquarius is about to move. And then you got the Leo energy that's like all up in their head because it's like they want to make sure they're taking the right action and, and possibly is it just lust? Is it just attraction? Is it just X, Y, Z? No, there's, there's clearly movement. There's a future. There's clearly love here. Like I said, it is on you guys to make this move. Both cards talk about movement. It, it's, it's on you. Your desire, your passion is, is elsewhere. It seems to be with somebody else, a fresh energy. It's like a breath of fresh air energy. It's like, but again, you need to make the move. So I, I think you're just, it's your action. It's putting action behind something. Going to talk to them, sending the message. You know, because it, it's basically saying, you can get the answers that you thought would never come, but it, it's when you it's when you make the move. You make the initial action towards what it is you want. I don't know if you think it's out of reach, if your expectations are too high. You know, there could be a move on the horizon. But it's time for you to make your move. You've been you've been waiting, okay, to to give clarity or get some type of clarity. You must have got lots of questions. But I just felt the need to really take a moment and, you know, let you guys know that love, love is love. 
you know, um, you don't need to question love. Not this type of love. Not what you're feeling. So for for my cross watchers, you know, um, some of you do got your back turned. But I, I think it's your own self-worth. I, I think there's nothing wrong with that. I, I think it's, it's, it's beautiful. And if this person reaches out, then, then that's great. I think you're going to know what to do and how to handle it. And if they don't, you're going to continue to push through and move forward anyway. But for the cross watchers, let me pull you a card because you seem to, well, kind of doing your thing. Some of you are reminiscing. Some of you are waiting. Some of you just know. You know, I, I think that may be a problem too for the other cross watchers. They know that you know that you can feel it whether you're intuitive or not. And that might be a whole totally different feeling for them and, and not know how to react to that either, right? So it's like, yeah, see, you got the... <laughs> You got the same thing, but you're staying invisible. You're staying off the grid. You just, you got just as much desire and passion for this person, but it's like, you want it, you make the move. Why? Because yeah, you are intuitive. You know people need to make choices. You're also listening to your higher self. You're true to what you want. You're true to your morals, your own standards, right? So again, you both feel the same damn way. It's, it's mutual attraction, lust, passion. So, that can't be easy if, you know, you feel the same way and, it, and it's, it's getting nowhere. So, I hope for everyone's sake that there that movement is here. It's on its way. It, it absolutely looks like it is, okay? Um, and then you all have to face, face your own fears. Okay. Um, I, I hope this little thing helped. Okay. Cause I, I really don't want it to continuously come up within the story. So, you know, if that happens in between other Zodiacs, uh, I'll do the same thing, but like I said, once you free yourself from certain situations or or thoughts, you know, um, you just you just gotta trust, and you'll be free. You'll be able to, you know, get out of that mind imprisonment, you know. So I think um, I think you guys are gonna be just fine. It's just, you know, going after it. It's, it's like no matter what's going on in your life right now, you know, love is here to, to guide you. It is an important experience, but you need to trust in love. It, it really is that important. You know, you got to give yourself freely without conditions. You got to be able to open your heart. You got to be able to consider other people's feelings. Yeah, it can be a confusing situation, right? And sometimes it's called for sacrifices. But like it's it's like your heart is aching, could feel broken, or it could feel like lust. You know, it could feel like it, it's just so intense. But you got to take action on that. You know, it's love is, is, is great. And why, why postpone taking action on something you know? You want, you desire. It's like you have an, an open window, an open void in the universe right now. Right? So you want it. You go after it. I, I don't see any nasty, hostile energy that's interfering with the connection. So again, if you're the woman, and, and this is on you to reach out, you might be letting fear get the best of you, or it's, it's the other way around, you know, um, love is love, 
Feel love. Go after it. It's an action word, guys. I love you. Bye.